In this exercise, we'll look at a number of different expressions and see how see what value the expression as a whole evaluates to, as well as the side effects that the expression has. So I'll pause for a few seconds to give you a chance to look over these expressions and figure out what each of them does on, on your own, and then we'll talk about it together. Okay, so looking at the first example, we start off with x being initialized to zero, and then in the first case, on the next line, we just have the expression x plus 1. Now this expression as a whole evaluates to, to the value 1. However, it doesn't actually modify x. So x retains its previous value of 0. Okay, then looking at the next one, x plus equals 1, well, that does modify x by increment, incrementing it. So x would have new value 1. The expression as a whole actually evaluates back to the object that was modified, and that's the x object whose value is now 1. So if we were actually to print this out, then we would actually get 1 printed out. Now looking at the prefix increment, plus plus x, it's actually exactly the same as x plus equals 1. We have x gets incremented to the value 1, assuming that it starts at 0. And then the entire expression as a whole evaluates back to the x object and the value of x is 1, so if we were to print that out, we would get 1. Finally, we have our postfix increment, which also increments the value of x, so that x becomes 1. However, the difference is that this entire expression, now it actually evaluates to a temporary that contains the old value of x before the increment happens. So if we were to print it out, we would actually get the value 0 printed out. Okay, let's look at the second example, which will make this all a little bit more concrete. We'll take the, the result of each of our expressions and then we'll use that in an assignment to another variable y. And then we'll see how the, the result, the value that results from the expression differs from what happens to x. Okay, so initially we have the assignment y equals x plus one. And as we saw before, x retains its old value of 0, but the right-hand side of that assignment, it evaluates to the value 1, so y gets the value 1. Now looking at our second example, as we saw before, x gets the value, x gets incremented, so its value becomes 1, and then the result of that entire expression is the x object, which has value 1, so y also gets the value 1. Now moving on to the third example, we saw that the same thing happened with plus plus x. So plus plus x, that increments x to be 1. And then what that gives us back as the result is the x object whose value is 1. And so y gets value 1. And then finally we have y equals x plus plus. And so x plus plus increments x to have value 1. However, it gives us back a temporary that contains the old value of x and that old value is 0, so y gets value 0. Okay, Looking at the third set of examples, it's essentially exactly the same as what we had in the second set, except for now, instead of assigning into a variable y, what we're doing is we're initializing a parameter i. But the same thing happens. In the first case, x retains its old value of 0, and the value of i becomes 1, in the second case, x obtains a new value of 1, and then that expression also evaluates to 1, so i gets 1 as its value. In the third example, the same thing happens. x gets incremented to 1, and the expression as a whole evaluates to 1, so i gets the initial value of 1 as well. And then finally, in the last example, x gets incremented to 1, but now the result of that expression is actually going to be a temporary that contains the old value of x, which was 0, so i gets initialized to 0.